Hello gamers! Today we're going to be talking about secrets that are in the Flowering Season Update 2023. Shh, it's a secret. So here we are in the arrival screen and the first thing you may notice is the screen has changed and there's these balloons and you can actually click on them to pop them. So it's similar to with the winter update, there were the snowflakes, you don't get anything when you click on these but it does look pretty cool and it's pretty fun to do. <laughs> but anyways, if we go and look at the update log, it starts by saying stuff that we already knew was in the update, we don't need to go over that. And so we're going to be checking out any of these things that we can as well as some other stuff that isn't mentioned in the update log. And so first of all we need to go over to Diamond Beach because the first thing we're going to be showing is there. So here we are inside of Diamond Beach and if we go over to the fountain you may remember you used to be able to make wishes here as well as the fountain in Davinia Park but if you go over here now and you try and click on it you'll see that you are actually no longer able to make wishes here. You can only make wishes inside of Davinia Park now which is pretty sad but oh well I mean the fountain still looks cool anyway. <laughs> Um, so next is something that's mentioned in the update log. If you click on the diamond shop and then you click on the star codes, you can see Princess Riel, Phobo and Lana's lives star codes have been added over here to show star codes that you can use. And you guys know I have my own star code, star code gamer girl, do you feel free to use it? If you use it, I'll get a commission from Roblox. <laughs> um, but anyway. So next thing is with the flight speed. So if you have the faster flight speed game pass, when you double tap space to fly, you will see this bar over here and then you can set whichever speed you want to fly at. But there is something new now, which is that you're actually able to move the flight speed bar around. So you can move it to any corner of the screen that you want to move it in, which I think is pretty cool. So you can have it to make sure it's like not in the way, because like on PC, it's sort of here which is sort of like in a random spot some people may not like that now you can move it which is pretty nice something to note though is when you go and like switch realms or leave the game and come back or something the flight speed like where it is will reset to go back to the default position so you'll have to move it manually again before you go using it with it in that position um but anyways next secret <laughs> Uh, I don't really know if this is a secret so much as a glitch, but you guys can see the teleporting thing here. You can't like interact with it at all when it's like this, but yeah, it seems like the text doesn't, doesn't go away when you click on the thing. So the teleport thing, it still works as normal when you have the GUI out, but if you put it away, you can just see the text saying teleport. I find that kind of funny. Um, so something else you guys may not know is the Fountain of Dreams teleport button on the intro screen has been fixed because before it used to have like a three hour timer on the intro screen but then like it was actually a two hour timer so that was like a little bit weird, bit confusing but that's been fixed now. The other sort of secrets that are in this update aren't things I can actually show to you all. Um, but the rose a la Frone's hair has been fixed and the tunnel has been fixed in the trading hub. So those are the other two things inside this update that you may have not known. But anyways, that is the end of the video. Let me know if you discovered something new inside of this video. Are there any other secrets you know about inside of Real High that I maybe don't know? If so, then let me know in the comments below. But anyways, make sure you ring the bell to be notified. You like and subscribe. And thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Oh, yeah.